Good afternoon. I'm pleased to have Catherine Gerard here with us today, who is the MFRW Northern Region Chair. And Catherine, you spearheaded a wonderful event that we will be soon doing where you brought together all the presidents of the different clubs in order to share their experiences with how they have become president and how women can contribute to the club. As the regional chair, what do you see as some of the strengths of the various clubs? Well, thank you, Karen. I am very happy to be here and to have you hosting this event with me and um, interviewing all the presidents. It's a wonderful group of women that I feel privileged to be working with. I, um, I see each individual club with a tremendous amount of strength. And it's interesting because these women weren't even really aware of how much strength they had. They came here into their clubs because they, they had a feeling of how they wanted to make things better. They had a passion that was driving them. They knew something was wrong and the direction of the country was it going in the wrong direction and they just want to make it better. And most of them will tell you, as you'll soon see, that their kids played a very important role in bringing them to the clubs. And um, I think they each have a strength that they never even realized that they had. They came into the club, they saw a need, and they fulfilled it, and now each and every day they're growing. And it's, it's really tremendous to see it, and I feel privileged to be in this role as the um, Maryland Federation Regional Chair for the Northern County. Thank you. It is interesting to see all the clubs coming together. I think they're learning to work together. And could you kindly do me a favor and introduce who will be our speakers today, our interviewees, and the president of each one of those clubs? Oh, I'd be happy to. Uh, Gail Thies, who is the president of the Hopkins Republican Women, she comes from a long history of her mother being an activist, and from a young age, she she worked hard and decided, you know, this is what I like to do. Uh, she'll kid and say, oh, I don't want to do my homework, and so I tagged around with my mom, but it built up those strong values that she exudes today. And then there's Amy um, Wagner, who is the president of the Harford County Republican Women, who also came together um, into her club because I believe it was her uncle who was a, um, a county county Council. delegate or a councilman, something of that nature. And she saw how vibrant a club could be and how many opportunities it lends itself. Then Jatilia uh, Wilson, uh, the president of the Cecil County Club, she's an immigrant and she realized where she came from and how she doesn't want to see the America that she and her family worked so hard to be a part of just be destroyed, just going down the wrong path. And she jumped in and wanted to be a part of it. Jolie is just fabulous for the Republican women of Baltimore County. She just put her hands on the steering wheel and just kept it in drive and, and just wanted to bring home the points that are so important in Baltimore County as we move towards a Republican um, agenda. And let me see, who else? Mercedes. Oh, and Mercedes, excuse me, not last but not least. Mercedes um, is in Moebus, uh, if I pronounced it correctly, hopefully. She is the president of, of the Carroll County Republican Women, and she, she is a strong activist mom. She's also the vice president of Moms for Liberty. She has a fire in her heart, a passion that she just wants to help our country go in the right direction. Carroll County is a strong Republican county, and she wants to make sure it stays that way. So I'm so happy to introduce all of them, and I think together we can make a difference. I think so. I think that was one of the, I think the point was, will be brought up later, that many of the tribes, they never came together and they didn't have strength. And that is what we were looking for. And in these interviews, we will be looking at the strengths of the presidents, but also 
of the people that surround those presidents. And I think, and you would know because you were the president of the Republican winner of Baltimore County and helped build it, that one of the things you do is look at the people and try to find their resources and mentor them. Could you speak to that, please? Oh, Karen, that is so important because when you want to build your membership, as I hope these interviews will be presented to the community and will build a membership, you want to bring in women that have the passion in their hearts to make a difference in their community. But you really don't know each woman as they enter, but getting to know them is such a joy. Number one, it builds friendships for a lifetime. But number two, it brings out their strengths, strengths that some of these presidents may not have even known they had, and yet here they are in a major le leadership role. And as you speak to some of the new members, you'll find new, new talents that each of them want to cultivate. And through each president, as they mentor these women and bring them into a role, they will just blossom and really build each club so that together we can make a strong difference. I think that's one of the advantages of the clubs, that so many women come and say they, they haven't felt like they've been able to speak out because of the cancel culture. They're afraid. And it is so nice for women to join together with a common cause and learn from each other and learn how to defend our rights. What is your vision for the clubs going forward? Well, that is a wonderful observation on your part, Karen, that um, bringing all the clubs together creates the unification that we're looking for. And I think together, collectively, we are stronger. But the vision is to in increase our membership, to grow our clubs, and with that, to grow our community in strong Republican values. And hopefully, we'll, well, it's a definite. We all have fun while we do it. But hopefully we will cultivate strong Republican candidates who will make a difference locally where politics becomes so important for the future. And um, having these clubs, it brings that out and we can cultivate new politicians that will make a difference in our community. And women growing. Yes, women growing. Just to be yes. stronger. I want to thank you so much for hosting for the lovely food, your beautiful home oh, here in Hunt Valley, Maryland. It's a pleasure having you're me. always so humble, Catherine. Well, thank you. You know, thank you're you very, very highly respected and and I appreciate all that you have done Thanks. and for hosting this event. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you, too, with all your hard work and with your husband, Mark, who's always helping you and doing so much for the better man. Thank, Thank you. you. And God bless America.